This is a high-end radio high exclusive. exclusive. Kobe Bryant, who was murdered by a basketball company and by a professional basketball association because he threatened their existence and his success by coming out with his own athlete-owned sneaker brand and by plotting his own professional basketball association, which was going to be based in China. That would have cost the NBA a lot of money, and that would have cost Nike a lot of money as well. Wow. wow. So you just going to just drop that on us like that, huh? That? <laughs> drop it. Kobe Bryant was murdered. Michael Jackson was murdered because Michael Jackson did not want to sell Sony back his stake in the Beatles catalog or his stake in the Elvis catalog. At the time of his death, Mike was actually co-owner of Sony, and they wanted to do something about that because every time some records got sold of the Beatles, Michael Jackson got paid. It was too much power for a black man to have, so he had to go. Prince was murdered because he didn't want to give Warner Brothers uh, access to his unpublished catalog. Right. And because he refused to do that, they murdered him for the unpublished catalog. Whitney Houston was murdered because she was going to demand an, a, uh, what do they call that when they go through your financial, an audit. She was going to demand an audit of all the funds that she had made in her name to see whether or not Clive Davis had actually given her the proper state of her earnings. That's why she died the same way Jimi Hendrix died of a so-called overdose inside of a bathtub. How ironic is that? And the water inside of Whitney Houston's bathtub was so hot that no human could have forcibly subjected themselves to such a temperature. So how could that have possibly been a suicide? And we know that uh, my brother, uh, I just mentioned his name, uh, the guitar, Jimmy, Jimmy Hendrix, Hendrix was murdered. Jimmy Hendrix was murdered by an undercover agent for British MI6. He was murdered by him because Jimmy Hendrix wanted to go independent, just like Tupac did, just like Biggie did. Jimmy Hendrix wanted to go independent, and Jimmy Hendrix also wanted to finance the Black Panther Party. So for our listeners who aren't aware, the MI6 is not just a movie. No, it is not. <laughs> no, it's for real. That's, that's the British Secret Service. It's the, yeah. it's the uh, American equivalent of the FBI. Um, would you say the same thing happened to Nipsey? I, I believe Nipsey Hussle was murdered because at least partly due to the fact that he had came up with a innovative way for artists to control their own music and cut the majors out the middle. I believe the music company might have killed Nipsey because they couldn't afford for him to take his income stream for artists they couldn't afford him to take that global because he had come up with a system kind of like Kobe did with his sneakers. Nipsey was doing with the music. He had this clever, innovative way of how artists could control their own music, control their own profits, and cut out the major labels. I think they had a significant thing uh, to do with Nipsey's death and quite possibly uh, the white power structure in L.A. because Nipsey was, it, looked, it appeared to me from what I saw, he was trying to fight back against gentrification, the takeover of Los Angeles um, right. from black residents. So I think the gentrifiers and I think the music company, but if I had to pick one over the other, and it could have been both, but if I had to pick one over the other, I'm going to go with the music company. Nipsey Hussle making it public that he had a new way for artists to get paid without being exploited by the majors, that would have cost the majors millions, maybe even billions of dollars. I think the music company had Nipsey killed. High End Radio. When his album first dropped, it didn't sell a lot. But after he died, it sold millions. Yes, sir. I'm glad you mentioned that. Let me give you this other point. This may also help explain Nipsey's murder. I think it also helps explain why we've had, what, over 200 hip-hop artists murdered in the past uh, two years, I think it was, something like that. Uh, definitely in the hundreds. Some of these artists were not major, but they were hip-hop artists nonetheless. Uh, many of these companies that are s signing our brothers to these contracts, they're getting life insurance policies on them. They're right. getting life insurance policies without the artist even knowing. And what these music companies realize is that your music sells more after you die. So they're getting life insurance policies, and they know that these young artists don't have any will written up for them. So what they do is they get them killed. The music companies are getting these artists killed so they can then get the money from the life insurance policy, keep all the royalties as well, which are going to go up and sell because dead rappers make more money than living rappers. Ain't that something? Hmm. 
Ain't that something? Let me switch reels real quick. Signing a contract is almost like signing the life away if you're in the music business. True that. Let me. Let me. Let me uh, I would make sure if I was an artist, I would make sure my contract specifically states the company cannot take out a life insurance policy on me. That would be in my contract. You cannot hold a life insurance policy on me.